Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I had a student share an awesome little dinosaur with me named Junior. We're going to build him in Tinkercad, so let's get cracking. Of course, friends, step one is to hit create new design. Friends, let's start by naming it. I'm going to call it Dino, and I'm going to do MDH4 because I've done this once or twice. Friends, the first step to build our awesome dino is going to be to make the legs. We're going to do that with a very special part. Go down to Shape Generators, go down to All, and I want you to click more and more and more and more again and again and again until we find a special one called the Parabolic Cone. It takes a while for them to load. When you find it, it'll be orange. You can see I have clicked a star, so it shows up on my favorites. When it comes out, I want you to change its measurements to the following. I need the top to be two. Make sure you press enter. I need the bottom to be four and press enter. I want the height of this little guy to be 15 and press enter. This is going to be the leg and it can end up being the leg for lots of animals. We're going to go back to the basic shapes. I want you to bring out a half sphere. I want you to hold shift and grab a corner, stretch it to any size you want, but then in the box I want you to type 6 and press enter. This is going to be the start of a toe. Let's press F for fit view. I want you to take the front measurement and I want you to make it 3. I want you to take the height of that little toe and I want you to make it 2. And press enter. Let's take our two items and align them. We are only going to align them to the front. Let's do F to fit view on the leg. Orbit so we can see better. And then use your arrow key to nudge this back in so it sticks in about two clicks or two millimeters. I'm actually going to go three millimeters. I think that looks better. We're going to do Control D and do one, two, three clicks to the right. And then find your rotation handle. And I'm going to tell you to type 25 degrees and press Enter. It went the wrong way. I'm just going to go mirror so it flips the other way. That's how I want my toe to look. I'm going to do Control D on this one. One, two, three. This time, I know when I type my 25 degrees, it'll aim the correct way. So this one I should have typed negative 25. Now I want this leg available forever, so I'm going to click on it right here. If you want custom colors, you should pick them now. I'm going to stay with this because I'm 3D printing anyhow. And then I'm going to move up here, and I'm going to choose your creations, and I'm going to create a shape with this foot. I'm going to call it Dino Foot, and I'm going to never lock the part size, and I'm going to save the shape. Notice it says Save Successful, and then, friends, after a moment, and you do have to wait, I'll be able to pause and bring this out. Right now you could probably count to 20 before it shows up. That was actually pretty fast. But now I've got this one that is a single piece and I've got this one that is all the pieces. I'm gonna delete my original and I'm just gonna play with these shapes. Let's switch to a five millimeter nudge. I'm gonna do Control D and now if I hit the arrow key, one, two, three, that just spaced out my foot the way I want it to be or my leg. I'm gonna do Control D, one, two, three, four, and now we've got the base of our cool 3D printed dyno that we're building. Let's give them a body real quick. We're going to go back to basic shapes. We're going to bring out a sphere. I want you to take this sphere and I want you to change its measurements. For its length, I want you to type 39 and press enter. For its height, I want 24 and press enter. And for its width, I want you to do 29 and press enter. You can pick any color you want. I'm going to make mine dino gray, which is silly after what I just did with the others up here, but I'm still going to do it. I'm going to take these four shapes. Notice I'm moving this one away. I'll even hide it for a moment. And I'm going to group my legs. So now they are a set. They won't move. Now when I do show and I select everything, if it doesn't select, hold down shift and select your legs. And then select them. And then choose a line. Make the legs the center and we want middle, and we want middle. So this is where the body's gonna be, but we're gonna raise it up. We're gonna fix something quick, so it's better for 3D printing though. When you 3D print, you don't want a piece hanging underneath. Watch how easily we're gonna fix this. Control D, make sure you've got the five millimeter nudge. Make one a hole, and we're gonna do control down arrow. One, two, three, and then we're gonna to switch to the one millimeter nudge and we're gonna do control one, two, three, four. 
so we are just cutting off the bottom of this sphere so it's better for 3D printing. This hollow area will print up. It'll end up being a much cooler print when we're done. If we do show all, you can see our legs have appeared. Back on our one millimeter nudge, let's raise it up seven millimeters. Control, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Our dyno is decently tall. The legs taper in and we're ready to add a tail. Friends, it is time to make our awesome tail. Once again, we're gonna do that with an amazing shape. Down on the shape generators, choose all. Make sure you scroll way, 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 way down and we're gonna find one called the pineapple. I am totally cheating because I've got the favorites marked and I know that when I get to these three stars, that means the pineapple's gonna be right here. Notice they do catch up eventually. Then you can click and you can bring out your pineapple so we can use it. We need to change one number where it is 0 0.25. I want you to type 0 0.75 and press enter. This gives us a better bend on our tail. I'm gonna look at it from this corner and we need to stand it up. When you do this rotation, if you stay inside the circle or close to the shape, it is super simple to get that 90 degrees. I'm gonna turn and look at it from this corner and I wanna rotate it 22 and a half degrees, which is one click inside the circle. It's that easy. Let's hold down shift and click on the body. Choose a line, make the body the boss, and we want it in the middle. We need to click just on the tail. So notice I click somewhere else, hit D to drop, and you'll notice our tail is super large. We're gonna hold down shift and we're gonna shrink it so that it is about at 23 or 24, and then nudge it in so it connects. Friends, you have just made the tail like we had on that cute dyno I showed you when we started. We need to cut it off for 3D printing though. So I want you to go back to your basic shapes and I want you to grab a whole cube. Let's hold down shift and squish this a little and I want you to type five and press enter. And then we're gonna make it two millimeters thick. Now I'm gonna use the arrow keys to nudge it to where it's gonna cut off the whole bottom of that shape. If you do F for fit view, you can see how good that was. I was missing on this side. Now you can see I've got it totally selected. I can grab those two pieces and I can group them. And this is a great way for you to see how that is better for 3D printing. You do have to hit D to drop it to the bottom. Otherwise that would have been messed up. Friends, you've got a dyno with a tail. It's time to make a neck. Friends, if you're guessing we're gonna use a fancy shape, you're right. Go down to shape generators, all. We're gonna go down all the way close to where that pineapple was. So once again, I'm looking for my three stars as I wait for it to update. You can see you can read the names as they're going by. I do want the corneum. I have not made it a favorite yet, but I'm gonna make it a favorite right now. When you bring out the corneum, Notice it's below zero, so we're gonna hit D to drop. Friends, I want you to keep the numbers the same, one, 10, two, five, and 6.5. These are perfect. We're gonna go back to our basic shapes and we're gonna bring out a hole. I want you to line this up so it's going to be the neck. Notice I'm cutting just above where this piece is and I'm gonna group it. And then I'm gonna bring out a second cube and we're gonna use that to cut off this edge back here Make sure that you're not cutting into it. I'll squish these down and zoom in so that I can see that I'm doing it really good. Once again, F is for fit view. That is gonna cut it completely and we're going to group it just like that. Friends, there is our cool neck. We're gonna now stand it up. Let's look at it from a corner and let's rotate it 90 degrees. Let's hold down shift and click on the belly of our dyno Click a line and we wanna move it to the front and middle. When we lift it up, I'm gonna do control up and then I'm gonna nudge it out, making sure that if we look underneath, it is completely connected. Friends, you just got a neck on a dyno. Friends, it is time to make our head. We're gonna do that with a regular cube. Bring it out, set it on the ground, hold down shift, and we're gonna type size 14 and press enter. We're gonna turn on the radius. We want this radius to be four and press enter. You wanna make sure your steps are 10. Now we're gonna change the height to seven and press enter, and we're gonna change the width of it to 9.5 and press enter. This is gonna be the base of our dino's head. 
we're going to give them a little jaw as well. So do control D. We want to take this and make it one. And we want to take our other one and do control up to raise it up so that there's going to be a gap between our jaw and our mouth on our dyno. Let's click on this piece one more time and do control D. This time we're going to raise it all the way up. This is going to be eyebrows. And instead of 14, we're going to make it four. We're going to raise this up, control one, and then we're going to rotate it. So let's do F so we can zoom in and find that handle. And we want to rotate it about 10 or 15 degrees. Now you can move it forward. And if you want, you can adjust it in just a little bit. I'm just going to nudge it a little on each side. This is eyeballing it so it ends up looking cool. I think I'm going to do control up one more time. You can adjust these. I'm going to make it less than that, so I'm going to do a half. I think I like that better. Friends, it's time to get our eyeballs. This is going to be from one of my creations. If you haven't built this Code Blocks eyeball, you'll need to build it. It's a quick lesson. When you find it, bring it in. Currently, if you followed the code, it's size 12. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to shrink mine down to size 4. That should fit pretty decent on my dyno. It's great for the part that I'm going to do right now because I want to give them cool eyelids. We're going to do that with a basic shape. It is going to be the half sphere. Remember, we went down to size 4, so we're going to hold down shift and we're going to type 4 as well. Notice that's a little bit big still, so I'm going to hold down shift. And let's go down to about 2.5. If we do F to fit view, for the bottom eyelid, we need to flip this. So I'm just going to flip it vertically. So that'll be the bottom of my eyelid. I'm going to make it just a little smaller, like this. And then I'm going to do Control D and do Control up. And I want to take this one and I want to flip it vertically again. So there's my top eyelid. I'm going to do Control up. And then I want to rotate this. Notice if you do fit view, it's better to get an angle and find it. There's my rotation handle. And I'm going to rotate it about 15 degrees. Let me see if I can scroll out so you can see that. I went 19 degrees. And check it out. That is a pretty cool eyelid. I'm going to rotate this one a few degrees down. Make sure you got the right angle. You notice I was not from the right side. So let's rotate that. There's my 17 or 15 degrees. Friends, that's a pretty groovy eye eyeball. Let's do a line and center it so it looks even cooler. Nudge this back, nudge this back. And that, my friends, is a pretty fun dino eyeball. Now, I want to be able to use this in other projects, so I'm going to make sure I save it. I'm just making sure I've got them lined up exactly the way I want. Notice this isn't quite down low enough. So I'm going to do point 0.1 and just nudge it back till I've got the perfect shape. And then since I want to keep this, I like these being green. So I'm going to just grab these two and make them green. And now I'm going to create a shape. Don't forget, if you ever make something awesome, you can hit your creations and create the cool eyeball. So I'm going to call this eye 2 or I3 so that I can use it in all my other projects. Friends, final steps. Let's bring this eyeball over. And actually, I'm going to delete this one and let's bring in my one piece eyeball. Notice it does take a second to come in. I'm going to raise it up, control up. Let's set my nudge back to one so it goes a little faster. And I'm going to do control D and nudge one to the other side. Let's do F to zoom in. I'm going to take these two and I'm going to make them a group. And then I can align them to my dino's head. Let's do a line and center and center. And then I can tilt them so they're looking just the way I want. That's pretty darn fun. Now for 3D printing, we need to take this whole little guy and we need to tilt him. I'm going to tilt him 17 degrees so he's got a better chance of printing perfectly. I'm going to tilt his bottom mouth a couple degrees back so it's a little bit open. Not a lot, just a little. Now let's take that whole shape and make it a group. It'll turn one color unless you turn on the multicolor option. And then we need to raise it to the top of our neck. You can do it with the cone or you can use control up. 
Now let's bring it back to our dyno, make sure it connects in. That's pretty sweet. We just need to line it up since they are all grouped friends. Click on the body, choose middle, and bam. You've just made a wicked cool, adorable 3D printable dinosaur. How cool is that? Friends, there you have it. Our dino is ready for 3D printing if you're in my classroom. You do need to select it all, and then you simply hit export. We are gonna choose STL. And then when the folder pops up, make sure you click on the STL folder. It should be in your quick access. Make sure you name it with your initials and hit save. You can hit save, let me know it's done, and we'll get it ready for printing. Friends, there's a lot of room for you to customize and make these cooler. The one thing I do want to remind you is if you're in my classroom, we always need to keep them pretty tiny. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.